Hey guys. So I'm getting ready to go out. But before I step out, I want to share with you guys this interesting experience I just had, guys. I was wowed, and I'm still wowed. I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. So, you guys know I study black identity and African American people. That's my dissertation research, my doctoral research that I'm working on. Uh, black identity, um, acculturation, and African American people, and implicit racial bias, and children of African Americans, right? And so, of course, I'm not just only fascinated by African American people. I'm interested in looking at black identity and African people across the diaspora. So I do my research. And I've been engrossing myself in tons and tons and tons of videos um, involving Africans across the diaspora, specifically Africans who live on the continent of Africa. And I came across a couple of videos um, of the Maasai tribe, right? I was watching some videos of the Maasai tribe, which is a tribe, it's an African tribe indigenous to Kenya and Tanzania in East Africa. And they are beautiful. They are some beautiful people. And I was watching it this morning, right? And so, the video I was watching was a very interesting ritual ceremonial video where they had a group of elders who were warriors, who were Maasai warriors, and they had advanced, I guess, to, you know, become elders and they were beyond the, the whole um, Maasai warrior phase of their time, you know, their identity as Maasai people. And they were going through this ritual where they had to cut off their head, they had to shave their head, and they colored their head, their head, because their hair was gone, they had to shave their hair off their head, and they colored their hair with goat. I think it was goat or some kind of animal it was goat or either cow. I want to say goat. Goat blood. And it was red, red tinted. It was really beautiful, really inspiring, right? And I'm watching this. And as I'm watching this, it was like a 45 minute long video. I was really inspired. But then I over, I came, I'm going to do this video. I'm going to do this uh, shirt while I'm doing this video really quickly but as I was watching it or should I wait till later I'm going to cut up this shirt guys but I'll probably just come back and do this later I'll come back and do it later I'm going to design this shirt later you guys so I um I became as I was watching it I became like overwhelmed with this feeling of fatigue and mind you this is early this morning i usually wake up early you guys because this is new york and the sun rises super early and so i go to bed probably like nine o'clock ten o'clock at night so i wake up between five and six so that's enough sleep right that's about seven to eight hours of sleep so i'm well rested when i wake up initially right and then I start watching these videos of the Maasai tribe of East Africa getting really inspired, really encouraged and motivated. And then, like I said, I, I got this overwhelming sense of fatigue. It's like I, I tried to fight it. So I, I, I was like laying down in my bed, right, kind of slouched on my bed watching the videos on my phone. And I could not resist this feeling 
I tried to. I tried sitting up. I tried drinking water, you know, stretching out, getting some blood to throw out my bones and trying to wake, you know, myself up so that I could fight off this urge to fall asleep. But I could not fight. It was an overwhelming sense of fatigue. And I'm like, it has to be something. I felt a connection as I was watching the video, right? I felt that as I was watching this video that... It was something in the video. I didn't know what it was, but I knew that it was something in the video that I was watching of this Maasai tribe that was giving me this overwhelming sense of fatigue. And like, I felt sleepy. Like my eyes were getting heavy. My eyelids were getting heavy and I could not fight it off. So I just paused the video. I put down my phone. And I submitted. I just gave in. I could not resist, right? I gave in and I fell asleep. And guys, while I was asleep, and it felt so real. You guys know how like real dreams feel when you're having a dream. It's just like, it just feels real, right? I felt like it was happening for real. Maybe it was. And so in the dream, I'm walking down the street. You guys know I do a lot of walking. I'm walking down the street and I pass this park. And guess who I meet? I meet a Maasai woman. Dressed just like they were dressed in the video I was watching. She had the very intricate design hair. Because the braids, how they had the hair in the video. It was a really tiny braids, right? Very thin thin tiny micro braids down to the scalp very neat like to perfection it was red tinted and she had this glow like she was so beautiful guys and I, I couldn't resist I had to stop her she had a, a daughter with her and I had to say something to her and I said oh I just got the shower <laughs> I didn't say that to her, but I did just get the shower. And so, I said to her, oh my gosh, you are beautiful. And I just was watching videos about you guys. Like, I just, I just, before we had this encounter, I told her, I, said, I just was watching videos about you. And she looked at me like, okay, <laughs> this girl is kind of weird. And so, she took her daughter inside the park and i proceeded to i think ask her another question and she didn't answer and so i i walked away slowly and then she stopped she stopped me and she said something to me and then at that moment when she asked me a question i knew it was this is my chance right i knew it was my chance for me to get an interaction with her and so she and her, she took her daughter and they walked with me. And we were walking like we made that connection. I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm talking to a Maasai woman. And so we were walking away from the playground. And I remember wanting to get a selfie with her, right? And so I asked her, I think I asked her, how long has she been in the U.S.? And she told me four years. And she said she did not like it. I said, how do you like it? She's like, I don't like it. And I can understand her. She was speaking... Was she speaking English? I want to say she was speaking English with her very thick accent. And she said she did not like her experience in the U.S. and America. And I told her I could relate to her, right? And so then... I remember wanting to get a selfie with her. I was like, I got to take a picture. I got it. But I didn't want to ask for a picture right off bat. So I was like, okay, what can I give to her, right? What can I give to her to show her that I appreciate her so that she will feel welcome to take a picture with me? And so I asked her, where is the nearest Maasai restaurant? Because I wanted to feed her. I was like, where's the nearest Maasai restaurant? 
and she told me it was across the street from some place, right? I forget. I think she said a hotel or some some landmark, right? She says across the street from some major landmark. I say, all right, let's go. I say, you want to go? Let's go. Let's go get some food. So we were heading to go get food. And then we ended up back at my house. <laughs> this is so weird. We ended up back at my house. And we were talking. We were having a good time. It was like we were sisters. Like we had known each other for so long. And we were in my bedroom. And I remember the intimacy that me and her shared. Like we didn't have sex for you little freaks out there. We didn't have sex. But it was a different kind of intimacy where... I was laying on one uh, like side of the bed, right? And she was like on the opposite side. And she was like rubbing against my leg. And I remember how warm her leg felt. And I was just like, this is just too good to be true. And I, like I said, it felt so real, right? And we were sharing laughs. And we were just having a good time. And I remember like my culture. And you know, of course, I'm an American, African-American, you know. I'm an African in America my american culture was like brushing up against her culture right but she was very accepting of the difference right because i know sometimes when african americans and africans we cross paths and we brush up against each other we literally cross uh, cause friction right we literally uh cause friction um when we brush up against each other not like you know literally but figuratively speaking you know but I remember in our encounter, in the encounter I had with this Maasai woman, she accepted me and I accepted her. And it was just, it was just beautiful. And then I woke up and I was just like, no. <laughs> Why did I have to wake up? Why can it be real? So now I am tasked with the responsibility, I think, to make my way to Africa and meet some of these Maasai people. I have to. I'm watching these videos and most of the videos that I'm watching, I'm noticing that these are white travelers. These are white people going to these countries, going to Kenya to meet these Maasai people. These are Europeans, right? And I'm like, if they can be welcome and uh, get immersed in the Maasai culture, and they're foreigners and they're white they're not even the same complexion as these maasai people why can't i you know why don't we go over there and interact with them and give you know to the land right give to the african continent we should we should give back and so that was just a wonderful experience i think what made it mystical was that i just was watching videos I just, and I'm a dreamer, so I dream about all kinds of stuff. And a lot of my dreams, when I do dream, there isn't really a precipitating factor that led, that leads to the dream. You know, it just kind of happens out of nowhere, right? But it's interesting to see the connection of me watching these Maasai videos and then I become overwhelmed with this fatigue and I just can't fight it off. And then I fall into this deep sleep and boom. And this is like this morning after I sleep for like, I'm well rested for seven to eight hours. I had a seven, eight hour sleep and then I wake up, watch these videos and then boom. <laughs> it's just like sleep falls over me again. I just can't fight it off. And then I'm taken in, into this dream where I meet this Maasai woman and it was just, it was beautiful. But I'm about to head out you guys. I'll catch you guys later. Come back and watch Go Live with me as I design this other t-shirt here that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video like I'm, I made this one yesterday and I'm so excited but I'll catch you guys later <sighs> I just love African people it's just a wonder it's a wonder there is a God